Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Saints Gaming CA stream, and it is going to be one heck of a good one. I'm Matthias, also known as Matthias. I'm joined by Patrick Smoke Chambers. It's CCL Rainbow Six, and let's just cut to the chase, Patrick. We got two amazing interviews coming up. Come on up, guys. It's going to be you, Windsor, versus St. Clair College. We've got Swifted and EK here. Let's start with Swifted. How are you feeling about this match? Pretty good, honestly. I'm ready. I've been waiting forever, feels like. <laughs> You're anticipating you're ready to strike. EK, I'm going to hit you with a hard-hitting question Ooh, real, okay. right, off okay. bat, right off the bat. This is one that everyone's wondering about. Windsor on land has not had the best record so far. Okay. But yep. how are you feeling? You think you're going to turn around today? Well, yeah. Um... Definitely, this is early in the season, so we've got like some new players. Um, so we have been working on trying to get that team cohesion. Um, and so, yeah, and uh, we're, I'm, I'm pretty positive about uh, where we stand currently. Uh, we had a pretty good game uh, last week. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm quite uh, I'm confident, not overly confident, but just, you know, the right amount. Exactly, that's what you need. And Patrick, you take it away. I've yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I do actually. I'm gonna hit you with another one. Um, you know, I know what the maps are going to be heading into this matchup. You pick Chalet. You're bringing the Saints Chalet for your map pick. A pretty smart choice because historically, Saints aren't all that insane on Chalet. I've seen them have a couple of blunders last semester uh, that I was casting them at least. But this is a different team, and I gotta ask, looking at. What have you done? Have you done like film review on them? Like, have, what, what do you? How do you feel confident? Why do you feel confident bringing them to Chalet for your map pick? Well, for Chalet, it's actually more of a personal pick. Like our team, we feel most comfortable in Chalet. Um, and yeah, we have done a little bit of review on the the Saints. So unfortunately, you know, we're gonna use that against you. Um, <laughs> much like, and I'll expose it, our ban of Cafe because we heard that that's your strongest map. Looked at a few, fit, a little bit of footage. And so, you know, we, we want every advantage as every team would like, right? Um, but yeah, we, we, feel, we feel nice and at home at Chalet. Um, and that's kind of one of our newer kind of comfortable maps. We have been sort of switching them up uh, ever since like two years ago. We've been feeling out the other maps, so yeah. Well, that's huge from you because, I mean, Chalet, of course, is a little more of a Brazilian uh, map that's famous in the Brazilian scene, but a lot of NA teams hate it. So that's really good from you guys. I'm actually quite impressed that you have that in your repertoire. And I got to say, going back over to you now, Kev, you know, I know I said it, St. Clair, they don't have the best record on Chalet, but I also said this is a different team. And what's the mentality going into this matchup for you guys, knowing that you might have a little bit of a rougher time on that map too? So going into this game in general, uh, the map bans actually favor us because one, he said Cafe is one of our stronger maps, it's actually our weakest map, believe it or not. So we already did the math wrong there, which is good for us at least. Uh, Chalet, I'm actually comfortable with it. Historically, another team hasn't been that good, but since I came into the team, they, these guys have the most confidence I've ever seen. Everyone plays at their best, especially now with the way I run my system. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing these guys. All right, well, I was going to say. Do you have any closing thoughts for each other? Yeah, both of y'all seem confident. Let's just jump straight into predictions. Yeah. EK, I'll ask you first. What are you, uh, prediction on the match today? Mm. Honestly? Assuming you guys think you're going to take it. <laughs> well, doesn't everybody hope for a, you know, 2 0 sweep? <laughs> you're so right. real, dude. <laughs> yeah, I got to keep it real, right? Like, yep. I don't want to fantasize too crazy, right? I don't want to be overconfident, as I said earlier. So, yeah. I respect the honesty. No, I, I can understand where he's coming from. So. Right. And then, I mean, right back at you, man. How do you um, how do you think the series is going to fall? Realistically, in my opinion, I think it'll be a blowout. I'm just gonna, wow. Wow. Yeah, 2-0. Well. All right, all right. Oh, you got to prove him wrong, man. Hey, Logan. you know what? <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Sorry, Beth. Maybe. Look, we'll see. We'll see. Look, yeah. We're creating a show. It is what it is. Yeah. This is just how the, you know, this is just how the cards play out. We'll see. And we are on land, obviously. I want to talk about the Battle of Windsor. We do see, obviously, we pay to a shot yeah. of our players on the stage. Yeah. So it's going to be wild. It's going to be hectic. It's going to be a good time. And I'd like to appreciate, thank both of you for coming thank out thank and you. having this interview. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, you guys have talked to talk. Let's see if you can walk the walk. Right. Go play your games, gentlemen. And leave us casters to yap about 
the grit nitty gritty. So, I mean, we were talking about the maps earlier, but I'll just go ahead and reveal that first it's going to be Bank, then Chalet, followed up by a Decider if it goes to the third map of Border. And some stuff I do want to talk about looking back on the Saints CCL Week 1 performance. I was casting the first week of the CCL from their Twitch channel, so I had to go back and look at the Saints VOD to see what we had. They were facing York U, and they had a Border matchup where they actually did fall oh. five rounds to York U. They did win the matchup. They okay, won it 7-5. Okay. People said they might have been doing a little bit of a tro little bit of trolling, but I was talking to uh, Swifted before the matchup, and he said uh, there were some technical issues on their side that were making it a little bit harder. They still got the win, though, and then they went ahead with way fewer technical issues to Clubhouse, where they ended up winning 7-1. 7-1. That's a pretty good record. And speaking of records, we were talking about the single kill yes. stats for Swifted. And what did you say? He's 1.1 kills per game rounded up. But that's like... Kills per round. Over, kills per round. Yeah, yeah, yeah kills yeah. per round. Yeah. Ooh, man. 1.1 yeah, kills crazy. per game. <laughs> we'll see you. You're not on varsity anymore, bud. No, um, 1.1 kills per round. He that's did crazy. finish last week from the two maps with a stat line of 22 kills, 14 deaths, and 6 assists. Of course, he played a little more of a passive role on that 7-1 in the clubhouse game uh, where he did go 3-8. and eight. Um, uh, so again, probably just a little more of an Intel-based performance out of him. But I will say for that first game on the border, he dropped 19. That's absolutely absurd. That is absurd. And we were talking about it. He was two kills short of breaking Rapids' record on land here of 21. Hey, maybe we'll see it today with how confident he is going into this. I wouldn't be surprised to see it. But the Windsor boys, they seem real. They seem like realists. They know their strengths. They know their weaknesses. It's all about playing through those. And I believe they'll, they'll have a competitive game, at least in the second game. I think they're going to be a little bit more adaptable. So something I want to bring up, actually, from St. Clair, and this is going to be how you wins or have to take this matchup. St. Clair right now, a problem with them last semester was utility usage. I remember going through the VODs with my friends, and we would always point out, how many times people die with like nitro cells or impacts in pockets, stuff that can really change around the defense. And then on the offensive side, how many times operators are dying with their gadgets still in play? Or how many times operators on the attack are dying with drones in pocket? These are very key pieces of utility that bag kills and information. So I said, you know what? Watching the week one matchup, I got to point out, the Saints look like they've done a whole lot better. Through both of those games, through both of those games, the entire series, there were only four times where a defender died with a nitro in pocket. Wow. It's something I want to point out. And a nitro cell, ladies and gentlemen, is that C4, again, used so frequently to deny plant. And such a useful piece of utility. The fact that only four times it happened where someone had in pocket without using it and died. It's very, it means that they're getting the usage out of the utility well, especially when they're almost every round bringing a Mira or bringing a, um, another operator with a nitro cell in pocket. It just makes sense that they should have those online and they should not be dying and taking engagements before being able to use something like that, use the time against the uh, opposing team. I think something St. Clair's done really, really well. And if I'm you, Windsor, that's got to be something you got to target is how are we going to, especially on the defensive side of bank when, we have, when they have the attack, how are they going to bait the util out of St. Clair and maybe return make them return to them for their former selves on that defense on bank. Yeah, they're going to have to try and play the long game against this e wins or try and play a little bit more tactically, a little bit more bait and switch. But I think they have it in them. I feel very confident on our St. Clair team, e wins are, It's going to be a good game. It's going to be a good game, but I'm confident St. Clair is going to take it. No, absolutely, man. And I think that uh, I got to kind of go the same with you as well. I feel very confident. This is a different Saints team. I like the changes they've made. They look so much better, uh, in my opinion, than they did in the first semester, just through other leagues as well that I know. For example, they uh, were playing in qualifiers, and they did really, really good soon. So we're about to get back into this game, though. We'll check out the bands soon. We will. This uh, is going to so be excited. a excited. I hear them here cheering we go. already. Here we go. All right. So, he wins or gets first ban here. So... I will point out that Swifted is really, really good on that Deimos. We saw it used in Border quite a lot. However, it seems that right now the common bans for Bank are probably Ying. But oh, no, the Deimos does get banned out. And this is interesting that I point this out. This is something that I wanted to see was Sw them forcing Swifted off of the Deimos. See what he's going to do because on that Border game, he was so dominant. It really seemed like that was the op that really just... There we go. Ooh, There's Yang. the Ying as well. Yep. 
Yeah, say what you want about you, Windsor. They do their homework. They did some VOD review. Maybe a little bit of a misplay with that cafe ban, according to Swifted, but we'll see if that ends up mattering at all. What's St. Clair gonna ban here on the defense? The Mira. Yeah, I'm not surprised, especially attacking bank first. You go for that basement site that, uh, again, server hold. You need to ha deal with the Mira. If you leave it on the board, it could be disastrous. So it's a great play from St. Clair to ban it out first. And there we go, the Ewins are banning out the Azami. Interesting that they do that too. I know that Terror on our team, he's been so good at time-dependent operators on defense. I'm gonna say that I mean utility-wise. He's picking people like Wamai, people like Azami, people who need to stay alive in order to use their utility over the course of the round. I mean, he was going absolutely insane with Azami the first map uh, on border uh, as well. It was really kind of a Terror and Swifted show to start off. So it's going to be interesting to see as we get the lineups here. I do like what I'm seeing so far out of you of Windsor, as it seems like they've gone with the mute, they've gone with the Wamai. The Valkyrie is a great pick on bank. I really love to see it. Frost is a little bit of a weird one. I that can't lie. One. It is a weird one, but <laughs> you do have the Monty exactly. on the side of St. Clair, so maybe they're hoping that the Monty just, you know, hops over a hops over a shield or something that the Frost has and maybe just doesn't check the ground and does that bear mat eventually. The dock pick is a little awkward as well. Not something you see a lot in, uh, again, Pro League, but this isn't exactly Pro League, Collegiate Pro League. So, yep. again, it's going to be interesting to see how yeah, the round left. plays out. As there's 10 seconds left, again, it seems like St. Clair, they're just kind of saving their drones. They want to just be able to have two in pocket. But right now, my one to watch is going to be how does Rapid on the Montang work in tandem with Terror on the Dokubi? That as well. We've got a nice angle here up on the ropes. It's clearing out these doors here and windows. And that's going to be the, the first. Setting up. I was going to say, that's going to be the first step is how they're going to clear this player out of elevator. At least I would assume so. Because if you take elevator away, that threat, right? At a great cross angle, actually, as well. I like to see that out of uh, the long desk onto those windows there. They're going to have to try to take the player out of that scenario because, again, right now, you don't deal with the Frost or the Wamai, especially that Wamai. He's just going to be able to sit in elevator and just keep on throwing out those uh, discs, right? So you need to deal with that quickly. Let's see how St. Clair does it. A lot of intel now coming out of we Rapid on that Montang. And now it seems like St. Clair, they have their first step done. They're just putting out some intel, but it seems like they're going to start progressing forward, maybe off the back of a Dokubi call, and see if they can take some ground. Let's see it. They're creeping in, making some breaches here. Just waiting for the perfect time to strike. Corner. If one gets seen out, Jockey gonna find one. Gonna get the boost here and go in. Trying to clear the room with the shield. Crazy angle here with the shotgun. Needs to get the angle just ready. Sees him, the nade gets thrown. It's a great nade. Yeah, that's gonna take him out, Kinger, with the cleanup. And it's such a well-coordinated uh, play. The nade comes in from the Finca just to move that player in front of the windows where they do have Kinger on the rappel there. And he was able to put the Selmas on the top square breach in order to get St. Clair in. Kinger being taken down, though. Terror able to find one. Jock's the second one as well. He's on a double. And right now, an almost impossible situation if you're the Valkyrie for the side of you, Windsor. He's going to get cut wow. down. That's all she wrote. Terror with that SMG-12 in hand. Such a crazy weapon if you can control the recoil. It has one of the highest EPSs in the game. And yeah, man, that, that, that was, was a dominant take so far. For that top four. was an absolutely dominant start from St. Clair. They just had every... It's almost like they had a playbook going into there, and they executed it perfectly. And that's what you have to use when you're going up... When you're playing Siege, you know, if you can have a plan going in, you can execute it, that's all you need to take the game. University of Windsor, I feel like he's just trying to play a little bit too reactively against St. Clair when they need to make a plan of their own going into this. Yeah, and I think, you know, if we're going to touch on what happened in the last round, the thing that really changed the momentum I love the mute pick out of U of Windsor because it actually counters Dokubi for those who don't know. If the Dokubi call comes through, you can just step on into the range of a mute jammer and take out that call in general. But what I love then, what they did was they recognized with that Monty, we can get free information on the mute, found him in the corner, Swifted, send an aid in there. We got a guy on the double repel. We can just make him move from that pressure. The Monty can call it out. And I mean, Kinger's just there on that window. Getting rid of that mute there allows them to take the position of sight through top square. And it was just a really good coordinated take from St. Clair. I love seeing that. And honestly, I hope we see more of it. The player I want to focus on right now 
is Terry who's actually on the knock. It's a weird a little bit of a pick. It was something that used to be a very big meta, but I want to see how they're going to be able to use it. I love the Tachanka pick out of U of Windsor as well, just delaying time for Rapid to be able to get his guys into this server take. But I love the Flores pick as well from St. Clair. They can just use these Artilla drones to get rid of any util that U Windsor has set up. They've already gotten rid of the deployable shield from that Tachanka. He can only launch Sumikas for so long before the pressure's going to come on from Rapid. And on this new shield update, Rapid can just simply give comms. He can get aggressive, put the shield down, try to wall bang him, and yeah, that's a Chanka has to vacate. But now they got to peel back that second layer of defense that is going to be this smoke, who will be able to gas out any opponents trying to plant on that default spot right next to the. Uh, it's either going to be the wall they breached on the reinforced wall, or they'll create a little bit of a hole on the wall directly looking into server, and that's going to be where they go. But it seems like with the thermite, I'd expect the breach to get opened up on the reinforcement. It will be just that. Terror with one, Swifted with another as well. So again, a great start on the side of St. Clair. Kinger cuts one down. But do they know about this flank right now from the Jaeger? Ooh, it seems they're unaware. They get one, one. they get two. two. Julian's going absolutely crazy. The diffuser's down. Can he get a third? No, not quite. Switches out the secondary. He needs to make a swing. <laughs> but he's going to get taken down. So much pandemonium in so little time. But St. Clair, they complete the objective of taking the round on offense despite an almost disastrous flank from that Jaeger. Yeah, that, if that went on just a little bit longer, that would have been absolutely devastating for St. Clair. They locked in, stayed on that objective mindset, got it through to the end. I think now they're definitely going to be watching those angles a little bit more closely because that was very scary. Yeah, well, I mean, usually that's not something that you want to have. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you usually <laughs> don't you, want to get gunned down. You know, down. I would expect next time Sinclair should probably have a drone on that. I and if so. they did, somebody should really kind of be on that. Uh, you can't have that happen. A flank down no. janitor series. They can't. still got it. They still yeah. got it. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it, it made it work. Too scary, though. That was almost... I mean, honestly, if the Jaeger played maybe a little more safe, he finds the first two picks and then maybe rotates long to help his team on the other side. Maybe he can cut down those uh, um, main stairs and then find the pick on Terror, who was coming through Garage on the Nook. I mean, you never know, right? I mean, that, that, that is just the one play that changes this from a St. Clair round to a U wins around. So, it's going to be interesting to see what St. Clair does to try to stop more hero plays potentially like that from happening on the side of U Windsor. But, you got to say, they gave it a pretty good damn shot. They gave it a pretty good damn shot, indeed. But let's see if they can keep that consistent, because I felt a little bit too lucky for U Windsor, I'm sure, St. Clair now. It's going to be watching that. Like a hawk. There's the util going out. No one can move. Now we're back, and wow, King are starting things off with a clean headshot. Yeah, I mean, it's such an unfortunate angle for the Jaeger. He's going to peek that, and he, again, Kinger has Peter's advantage there, and also the fact that the Jaeger's swinging out, the Monty is going to be what he locks onto first. He's not going to look at the player behind him. So really good from St. Clair there, having that one-two uh, push. And now they're just going to drop straight in from Vault Hatch. The Clash doing some damage, just trying to slow down the Monty, but they hit it with, I believe, was maybe an impact EMP from Terror. They're going to do that as well. That'll stop the electricity wow. from the Clash, but Jox gets cut down. The Monty now putting more pressure, trying to see if he can just bully the Clash out of the way. But as he does that, his feet are exposed, and he's going to start taking damage from the player playing behind the Clash. This is a great job delaying time, and with the Monty only on 18 health now, they can just kind of sit here. It just needs to not be an overextension from the Clash. That's what needs to happen. Ooh. But a great, a great job no utilizing way. the punches from the Monty to try to get the Clash down. The feet trade. being found out. Wow, the double. trade comes right back. An incredible double kill, and U Windsor is not out of this. They are still in this great play by you Windsor stalling things out, putting St. Clair in a very dicey situation. But wow, they run in. Kinger with a double kill evens the odds right now. It's not quite even though. It's still one to two. Just needs to take him out, but he cannot. And that's going to be you Windsor taking their first round. Yeah, I mean, the Tachanka has all the intel based off the call out, right? So he knows exactly where the line is, and that's going to be a quick cut down for you, Windsor. A way better round. I love the amount of time. Uh, I love, honestly, the Clash. The Clash there did such a great job 
of getting in the Monty's face. And usually it's not something that you would support, but I like that she used the electricity to just kind of back up. Now, I won't lie, I think the mistake there is really on the side of the Dokabi. I don't know if those EMP nades were missed, but that clash should not have had the electricity uh, from the first EMP that went down. I think the first EMP might have missed her because the Monty wasn't able to get aggressive. Either that or it was because the player behind the clash was just gonna be able to kill the Monty if he did. So either way, whether the EMPs landed or not, it was great from you, Windsor, to just the stay patient, to not panic, to burn time, and to just communicate. Let the Clash communicate to the other players. Let them know what's happening. Not panicking, not whipping out the shield and turning around to try to get the gun out like we usually see people try to do. It was just smart. And sometimes it just shows you that the flashiest moves aren't always the best to take. Just turtle it up. Exactly. <laughs> you got a shield. Use it. And now, here we are. The action phase. Let's see how things start up here. We're breaking down the walls. We're going to get some angles. Already, attackers oh. dropped the diffuser. Saints Bring an on interesting mine. play here. Moving through the bottom, trying to take the low ground first, attackers clear everything out diffuser. before they make their strike. They always love executing such a perfect plan. I'm excited to see it. I was gonna say, the thing you gotta watch out for if you're St. Clair is that Valk, who's just sitting below. Uh, that's a huge pick, by the way, for St. Wow. Clair. They're going to be able to cut down the thorn, but really what I was going for was the Wamai. However, Rapid doesn't see the player who's stuck inside, and now, wow, oh my god, he just doesn't look at it. Honestly, I thought he saw the dock in stock, but the dock just gets away with that <laughs> rent free. He finds the pick, and now all of a sudden, you Windsor have the advantage. It's going to be another pick. They can't clear this dock from stock. And he's just allowed to sit here and pick off the Saints one by one. They're not double swinging him. They're not coordinating anything. They're just trying to win off of gunfights alone. And when you have the advantage on the defensive side of that, it's not going to go your way. Right now, I have to assume that the Nook is not in a very good position. They probably have a player right below. It is the Valk. Should be able to make a really big play here has the injury and now is he going to find the next pick as well onto the nook on the stairs it's oh, just such no. a bad position oh. however oh my god wow. what a great play from tear he just has to try to find another but the cross <laughs> angles come through it was inevitably going to probably be the end but i have to give him credit for at least knowing you know what i don't i don't know where any of these other players are but i do have one player where i know the whereabouts <laughs> of it's a clash i got to get aggressive on her eventually hits the melee which exposed the feet Yep. and chops her down but again I want to talk about that dock that was a complete misdrone by St. Clair and I'm, I am going that to dig deep into them because no one should be able to take that space and hold it I mean that is absolutely astronomical and the fact that it resulted in what was it two or three kills I know at least Terror was, died from the stock nearly three like Claire. the pressure definitely got the right well I mean regardless the dock still lives long enough to then also put pressure onto Terror in the end yep. so that is a disastrous misdrone by St. Clair and I'm just going to put it out there they just threw that round I know they were getting Attack way too little aggressive a little bit too overconfident and New Windsor is definitely starting to adapt after that first round win they got their confidence back and now they have a very strong foothold it's going to be up to St. Clair to try and dial in, to reel it back a little bit, reel back the aggression, and go in with a little bit more of a tactical mindset. Yeah, uh, again, you can't have Five misplays happening like that if you want to win this game. I mean, you wins are so far. They've definitely shown us they are no Jack pushovers. It's just got to be better. I almost was going to say, you know, what they need to watch out for is the Valkyrie down below. I know you have the Dokubi calls in pocket, but they didn't seem like they were putting too many people down below to clear her out as if they didn't know about her. The Nitro could have came back to bite them in the butt, but uh, it Ooh. just wasn't focused on. It didn't need to be. The Doc did a great job. Focusing on this round, though, Jox already has the first pick, and it's going to be on the Cap Can as well. They're going to have to just make sure they check their doors, though. Again, if they're going to be misdroning players like in stock and everything, I mean, uh, I'm going to be kind of worried if they misdrone a couple <laughs> Cap Can traps on a door, right? Exactly. Now, just bundling up right here. They're ready. St. Clair is hoping to catch people off guard, waiting on the outside, peeking through these windows. Who's going to make the first entry? It's going to be Kinger. Going on the aggression here. Looking for heads. Can't quite find much. Ooh, that's a nasty angle right there, but 
He has no vision here. Well, right now, what I will say is that St. Clair are just working on creating that vert control. King are able to pop the hatch that leads into the site from Janitor. So now it is also the Ram who's just going to be able to rip the stock floor apart because it looks directly in its sight. This is a great job right now of drone work from St. Clair. I like that they're just making these little gaps in unique pressure points. This is a potentially great Nitro, though. And if this goes down unchecked, that might be the thing that does St. Clair in. But we'll have to see. The first pick goes down. It is King are going to be ripped apart by the SMG 11 of Canadian. And now it is going to be the peak down from the vert from Jocks on that 417. It's such a great weapon. C4, but the drone's got to see him. The drop comes down. It's a beautiful play, but blow the Nitro. No, the player's dancing behind the table. And it's going to be Swifted that takes the player out in Canadian. But he will be refragged, though. The drop down from Janitor as well. And now Rapid oh, no. trying to swing on the player. But again, the Saints, they're missing these players that are hiding under the tables. And they keep dropping <laughs> the hatch and giving Julian kills. Single file line running in, but Jocks is looking to make it a 1v1 with a double kill. Wow, with 49 seconds left, can he do it? He's going to pop his ability one more time, try and lure him out. No, he's got the angle. He's locked in. He's not going to move unless he has to. If he peeks his head up at all, it's going to be blown straight off. Goes for the flash find much success but wow he saw that one pixel and could not land that ball and that's all the info that uniquely needs to have he knows where the diffuser is he can just hold this close with the shorty however diffuser in the hands of the line now he can bait out a plant he still has 20 seconds he has lots of time assuming the player on the rotation no but it's a great job that reinforcement is so troublesome for st Clair. 10 seconds left he has to go for a far plant using a nade to try to hide the rotation to try to stop the rotation from coming through but that's all the time he can burn the clock will have to drop to zero seconds. The plant should go down in time. He has it. The player working through the rotation. He has to try to find where this bomb is, but most importantly, the player. He knows that Jox has gone deep in sight, and this is a great job from Jox. He can just play this doorway and have all the info he needs, but hold on. He's wow. given the deployable shield in sight to the enemy. It's a great play on a call from you, Windsor. They find the pick. They find the clutch. You, Windsor, the uniquely still. have a day. <laughs> He's still looking for the defuse. He found He's got more than but enough yeah, time. He's got <laughs> enough time. Absolutely crazy round from both sides, I got to say. He wins or definitely had the lead there, but Chalks locked in and turned that right around. And I get why Jox is trying to leave the room. He's just trying to create a long angle that he can hold with the DMR onto that diffuser. At the same time, he does also give that deployable shield up to the defender. Not that it was needed, but I'm just saying it could have been used. Maybe I'm assuming what Jox was also trying to do is then go upstairs and hold from the vert that they created with the ram. That would have probably been, I'm going to say it, that is what Jox was trying to do. I'm going to give him some credit there. But I got to give more credit to Uniquely. It was a great take, a great job playing patient, waiting for both nades to be wasted from the lion. Just wait for him. The bomb's going to go down anyway. You got 45 more seconds on the clock to find this pick. You might as well just sit it out. Wait for both nades to go out. At least you now know he has no more nades, no more lion scans. He can't hold you still anymore. You have 45 seconds to make a play and uniquely wasted no time doing so. Beautiful play by that uniquely in a great round from you, Windsor. It's very speedy rotation there, and that's exactly what won him the round. 10 seconds now, to insertion. I don't know how this one's gonna go. St. Clair hasn't gotten a round Five quite a while. Three rounds now, they're in the loser position. Let's see if they can turn around Attack. here. Let's locate and defuse the bomb. Yeah, I mean, I, I got to point this out for you, Windsor. I, the clash has just been doing wonders. I know, I know, the, I like, I did like uniquely on the castle, but if it's going to be any replication of what happened in that basement setup, they love that clash on vault, and they also love this. They love putting the Tachanka on the server, looking into um, the sewer uh, or tunnel. I guess is what you'd call it, right? Yeah. And again, it, it's a great time burner. I just wonder how St. Clair is going to be able to get rid of the shield. They don't have the floor as like last time. And <laughs> they again, <laughs> they're just going to have to play it with the clash. They got to get through this clash. They can't even use nades either because the Jaeger ADS is going to swallow those up. <laughs> so St. Clair now realizing this sewer take can't work anymore. We need to rotate. And that's not very good because they brought out the Oso, which is very well known to really be only useful in that sewer take, in that, in that uh, server take. So it's gonna be interesting to see how St. Clair plays around this. Their Monty's already at 62 health as well, I gotta say, so far. 
I like U Windsor's chances here. I like them too. Things are looking up here. Breaking through though. I have to back up his teammate. You need the shielder to go in first here. Try to use these drones. Get a little bit further in. Get a good Take angle. More info is always better. Things are looking at a standstill right now though. Saints just trying to find the optimal position. New Windsor getting a little antsy. They don't know where they're at. Not Battle enough charge. info. You can hear them running around though. And wow, there's wow. one. Wow. Yep. That's a great pick. And it wasn't even the pick that I thought was going to happen. I'm looking on it right now. Julian's doing a great job inside of Tellers of cutting down these Saints one by one. He's already got Terror, and now he's got Rapid, and that's the Monty to boot. Diffuser's gone cold as well. Those are your two operators that you would have thought had Diffuser. And now with Osa with no nades, that shield inside of Server, I know they weren't looking to take it, but they're definitely not going to get it now. The Saints, they have to clear out this Jaeger, but they're looking the wrong way! And it's going to be a third oh. pick for Julian. Whips with the pistol, <laughs> but he finally gets traded back. However, he's already done his job more than enough. He's already done the damage. Three Saints down and only two left to go. And I can't lie, with the utility that they have to walk through, it's probably not going to wow. go in their favor, especially when they're trying to clear out that mute with the shotgun close range. He just needs to hold this flash in hand. It's going to be something that you have to swing off of, but Kinger's blind as well. Got he it. will find the pick, but where's the refrag? Where's the reswing? It doesn't happen. I like that out of the Tichonga. He's just gonna let the clash play the info. They have the Malusi gadget as well. This is almost unwinnable for Kinger. Taking out the Malusi, he's gonna be able to have the flashbang now to try to blind that Tachanka, swings onto him, but the rotation now from the other players should be coming through. They just have to play oh time, <laughs> and that's exactly what they're gonna do. It's a great job from Uniquely. Wait for Kinger to absolutely commit to the bit before you can take out that shield, or sorry, take out the SMG and put away the shield. <laughs> It's well wow. played again. I love what you Windsor's doing in this clash here. And I gotta say, if you're St. Clair, there's nothing to hide here, boys. You gotta pick it up. There's a lot of <laughs> stuff that's going just not in the right way right now. You could have used those flashbangs to bait out the Jaeger ADS. And then after that, nade the shield. But it's almost as if they maybe thought that wasn't going to work. Maybe they didn't want to waste the flashes. But in my opinion, the flashbang was only converted onto one kill into Tachanka, and it was an empty frag anyway, because they lost the round right after. Use those flashes to take out the Jaeger ADS, as Nade the shield with the Osa, and then maybe you can have that sewer take. But even then, to have a push that's so, so relied on upon being able to take control of server, and then you have to switch up like that, it's absolutely just insane. It's not something that I would imagine goes the way of St. Clair, and I'd be right about that. You would be right. I gotta, I gotta agree with you there. If you were to tell me after the first two rounds, after the first round, oh, this is that this, this is would be the this, half By the right way, now? this is St. Clair's map pick. Like, I want to point I know, out for you guys. <laughs> I know in the pregame, if you guys weren't here, you Windsor are bringing the Chalet, a map that they're not very, you know, well, well, known for being very good at it. I know I get it's a different team, but so far, i got to say, I'm not very impressed with Banks. So right now, something that I do want to point out, actually, uh, Moth Eyes, is that right now in the CCL, the quarantine on the operator's, new operator's scope host has been lifted. So defenders okay. can now play a scope host. And what she does is she won she's a robot, robot who is able to move around. And if she needs to get out of her position, there's a second robot she can place somewhere around the map and she can just transition to that player immediately. That's super interesting. She I have also not seen gains this. her full health bar back when she does it. So you wow. almost have 210 health here playing Scopos if you use it right. My personal opinion, I don't necessarily know if Scopos is a great pick just because good teams will usually roam clear that out if they know there's a Scopos. Chances are the second robot's probably going to be hidden somewhere on a flank or a post plant scenario. So if you're smart, you drone that out, you're going to be able exactly. to find that and get rid of that robot without the other scope host knowing. Ooh, Kinger, Kinger though. able to cut one down on the side of Garage on that Goyo, and he's going to find Ooh. a second one for his likings. Two headshots. Kinger going absolutely berserk in the Garage. Great start for St. Clair once again. They love the aggression. They love getting these kills. Up the stairs, though, this is going to be rapid. A little bit of a rat angle right here, waiting for the single pixel of turn color here. Will someone peek it? Maybe no, turns the corner. He's not going to do it. There's a little bit of cat and mouse going on right now. Yeah, and I like that Rapid just stood there and didn't move. He knows that the player is coming through because of the Malusi gadget being activated. He doesn't have to swing anything. What I'm curious about is how this Osa is still alive. I swear there was like a Nitro and two impacts used on her. Nothing happened, 91 health, and she's going to be able to cut, or the Osa's going to be able to cut down 
the player in Swifted. So a great pick on the side of you, Windsor, but they have so much to do. And I'm not going to lie, with a minute left on the clock, I really like the hold from St. Clair. I think the round should go in their favor, barring a caster curse it. It should go in their favor. Big flash, though. Can he get the kill? He does get the leg shots. Three to two. Time is running out. You Windsor needs to move a little quicker right now. Well, they're opening the wall for the default plan. It's what they're trying to do. They just have to watch, even with the Nomad going down, what happens with that server hatch, right? I mean, again, if you're smart on the side of Sinclair, you're probably getting a player right now on one of the open hatches to try to hold vertical on this plant. But the Goyo canisters might be able to delay the time. I believe there's with only 24 seconds left. This is going to be really hard to do. But oh my wow. god, Julian, how does that go unchecked? He finds the pick from the hatch. And now Terror can't even peek the angle or else he's going to get gunned out from the hatch. The flash should come in with the drop as well. But no! Rapid able to find one. That really should have been a double swing. Julian able to find one. So has to get the vault. Five seconds left. He knows who the player is. Swings on. Rapid. Please hide. Play time. Oh, wow. The trade the happens. Trade. But because it's on the side. <laughs> the defense of the Fuser has been planted! St. Clair will come out on the top of it! Holy smokes, that was absolutely insane. I cannot believe that ended with a trade. That's yeah, so I, mean, I honestly, crazy. okay, so again, I want to point out the fact that the Habana <laughs> can just simply go upstairs unchecked and find that pick wow. on Kinger is absolutely wild. I mean, I, I guess they just didn't know, but again, I would, I would have thought one of them for the post plant were going to be able to do that. Are they talking some <laughs> smack right now? I, I don't blame them. Honestly, I would be too. Get in the Saints heads, why not? Unless it was like a tech issue. I think there might be a tech issue. I saw one There might be there might be a tech set. issue, but honestly, if they did it for the content, I wouldn't even be mad. Yeah, I think it's tech definitely issue, a tech yeah. issue. Yeah, we see Dan coming over. Six, yeah, it's definitely a, a tech issue. I clicked but honestly, first. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, uh, yeah, you know what? Just let them have a little bit yeah. of fun. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. I gotta say, I'm very impressed so far, even with St. Clair taking that round. I'm very impressed with you, Windsor. That was amazing. Yeah, that. I thought that honestly, turnaround. And there's no other way Rapid could have played that. He had to try to run away, try to play time. I guess he got a little aggressive. He could have technically ran into the other site and just chilled there. Repeaking's a little risky, but he lands the shot that gets the job done. And simply because that <laughs> diffuser, you know, trades go on the defense because the diffuser's yeah, down, was, right? Yeah, that was absolutely... Or the diffuser's not down. Yeah, it wasn't down. As soon as the diffuser goes down, ladies and gentlemen, like if, if, if you Windsor got that plant off, that trade goes on the side time, of you Windsor because of the fact that then the defense isn't alive to then counter defuse, right? So they got that plant off. That would have been disastrous on the side of St. Clair, but they didn't. The Goyo canisters from Kinger were able to delay it just enough. And honestly, I think if you Windsor maybe waited like a half second longer before the drop from the Hibana came through, they might have been able to take that because the problem was the first player who had the bomb got picked off before the Hibana dropped the hatch. Exactly. So at the end of the day, it was a great play, if anything, from I believe it was Terror who got I that I think pick. you're right, yeah. Yeah, there's been so many insane plays already. Oh, man, already. Julian almost had game. it. Like, Julian really almost had it there. That, that, that was, was incredible. That, that the was... only thing that can stop him is the lack of bullets. He didn't have enough bullets in that mag to just Right, I mean, that, that's, the other, that's the other problem is Havana's <laughs> primary only has 21 bullets, so you got to yep. use him well. I think you used him just about as good him, as yeah. you really could. <laughs> you got to give credit to him. One hell of a wow. player. And, uh, I mean, certainly, you know, we saw what Swifty was saying here on the desk. You know... Hey. <laughs> all I'm saying, the speaks for itself. All I'm saying is gameplay speaks louder than words. I, in the and words right now, was very, saying, he was not. No, like, he was confident. Oh, very he was confident. not cocky. He wasn't. Almost. He was not cocky. He was just confident. He's like, right, we got this. We're gonna I'm not saying. It. I'm not saying Swift was <laughs> you know necessarily overly cocky about it. But you know, if he, you know, he's a great player. This team is amazing. Probably one of the best Saints exactly. teams had. So to be talking like that, you know, I understand it. But at the end of the day, in the servers, all that matters. You guys are doing a great job so far. You gotta wonder if you psych yourself out when you talk yourself. Maybe up, almost. Right? I definitely do. I think he that's wasn't why I. It. That's why I don't. I'm usually <laughs> exactly. always a very quiet person, <laughs> even despite me being a caster. I'm always usually very quiet when it comes to gameplay <laughs> or pre-gameplay. Like you, you won't see me typing in all chat or nothing, man. Nothing. No, you're, at you're all. like going to cast your curse yourself. You got too much power. Pretty much, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to be heading back to game. Such an explosive match already. You Windsor, though, 
not taking that first one, but just by a hair, just by a hair, they did not take that one. Just a mere matter of size. I mean, look at Julian point. right now. He's 12 and 6. That's he's 12 and 6 already. Like, he's doing such a great job. And I got, I won't lie, like, on the side of St. Clair, like, Swifted's doing fine, honestly, for the role he's playing, it's fine. I, I like what I'm seeing out of Jocks and uh, Kinger as well. I think what I need to see a little more out of St. Clair, it just comes down to their comms. Mm -hmm. They blew a round from a dock in stock. Camera. Honestly, I think if they just droned out server that other round as well, I think they could have gotten rid of the Tachanka shield, which then would have given them server. They could have, again, like I said, used the flashes to bait with the Jaeger ADS. Is on. So I think exactly. when it, it, it's just slight minute mistakes that then boil up and build into something that you can't control, right? Yeah, when you're playing such high-level Siege, that's what it's all about, just getting those little advantages and exploiting them as much as you can. Now we see Terror rolling up. Setting up on these stairs, waiting for an unsuspecting victim. But, I don't know, I'm excited to see what you Windsor's approach to this is. That first attacking round was a little bit messy, so I'm excited to see if they can clean it up. I'm surprised to see that Swift did. Right now we're in a little bit of a boss G meta. It's kind of like a pocket op, right? Uh, and, and Vigil does have, you know, wow, the ability to pull one out, but oh man, that's such a risky, risky <laughs> play from Swifted on top square, and he almost pays for it. Chucked down to 72 health. There's going to be no way he gets that health back, so I guess it's just going to be a health advantage, but oh, no this way. This is crazy if a bullet flies through here. No way, Swifted! Oh, no he's going to be able to shoot the barricade out, and he's going to be able to find the pick! And it's a great play from Swifted because the other player on the side of you, Windsor, had no idea because what Swifted did, he shot out the wooden barricade, but he angled it so he didn't hit the glass. And when you don't shoot that glass, wow. it's almost, it's almost the C4 silent. Kill. The C4 <laughs> coming up from Jocks as well to find the kill on it uniquely. This is a great start from St. Clair. It was a ropey first engagement, but they get it done. And what I love seeing out of St. Clair is simply when they get the first pick, they get the second pick, they don't overstay their welcome. They burn time, they get the first pick, and then they just peel back and they just play their lives to let the clock do the rest. Wow, okay. Kinger with an absolutely disgusting angle on those railings. And he's going to be able to pick off Minsk as well. Recovered the bomb diffuser. And now EK. You know, we heard what he was saying earlier. We got to see if he can bring this round back, but this one's almost nigh impossible, I would think, with only a minute left. And I mean, now the player on the basement stairs definitely heard those bullets being shot up by Julian. They know exactly where he's sitting inside of Tellers and Archives. You gotta assume that the second he exits this place, there's going to be the player ratting on top square. But I don't believe that Swifted knows about this. He's gonna see the track singers go up from the gridlock. He knows the gridlock's on this door, and he can just play patient on the doorway and rat the angle. Does he know about the refrag? No, but he gets out in time. Perfect. He's gonna put the question mark in chat. And it's, it's honestly, I don't blame him. The refrag now hopefully coming out, but no, it's not going to have well it will happen, but Jox immediately trades back. Absolute absolutely masterclass round from the Saints. Yeah, That's what you love to that see. That really goes to show you like the type of player Swift it is. He he gets out of that first engagement. I'm honestly surprised that after leaving Top Square, they didn't think on the side of you Windsor, hey, this player is literally going in the direction of stock. Yeah, that was like, could that he was not insane. be here? <laughs> I mean, that's a great play from from Swifted, but with two players turning their backs to that, that's a little bit to be questioned in my opinion. But that being said, the Saints get around on the board, Swifted doing the best he can, finding that double and jocks to clean up the final one. So far, St. Clair, you wins are 4-4, and as they take this open area defense, we'll see what they have in store for you wins are. Let's see, they definitely want them to pour in here and just play it for these sneaky kills. Windsor, we gotta find something here. Things are not looking up for them. That first round was very aggressive and it worked out for them. Ten seconds to go. ended in a trade. They just didn't have quite enough to bring it home. I wonder if they know about the drone from Uniquely that's hidden in the top score plants. Because it seems like a sin. Nope, I don't think they've seen it. That's a great drone, by the way. It gives so much intel. Even if it gets taken out, it gives so much intel just based off of sound of what could be happening around that area. So, again. Good drone work so far from you, Windsor. I'm very impressed so far with how they're stacking up. I mean, I know I've said that quite a few times. I, f I feel like I, you know, have been talking about them a lot, but what is there not to talk about? I thought, I'll be so honest, I thought the Saints on their map were going to blow this out. And do they know about, I believe they saw the feet through the footholes onto one of the St. Clair players. So they know that one of them is playing very close to those footholes. 
They know about the Frost Mat too. They'll be able to take that out, no problem. But how is the Jackal going to work on clearing this top square or top floor hold that St. Clair have in order to throw off the vert play that Ewins is trying to create with the Ram? do here. I do like that they are playing much slower this round, not just rushing headlong and trying to win those gunfights. A little bit slower and a little bit more reactively, but that gives too much time for Kinger to just lurk noise. around and get these kills. You know the problem is as well? That's the Jackal they just took out. So it's yeah. going to be so much harder to roam clear now without your Jackal, who can basically get you intel for free. And uh, again, just such wow. a tough hold to have but, oh kills. my god canadian able to find the first on i believe it was rapid and then absolutely just precise <laughs> absolutely class yeah, shot onto crazy. elevator it's not really a way i can explain it that was just absolutely amazing great shot there and a little bit of a hero play but it's all that you windsor need they now have the picks to get it started they've cleared the top floor they can work off of the ram that they've already made progress on for the vert but now they have that vert control 100 percent and that is so meaningful. I don't even think that Frost saw the drone. Okay, I was about to say, if that <laughs> drone goes unchecked, I swear to God, that would have been incredible uh, for you Windsor to hold, but sadly doesn't happen. Swift did in a really tough position here. Ooh. The hat drop is probably gonna come in. However, Jocks, how did you get back up to the top floor, my friend? He's able to find a pick for free. And now all of a sudden, because of that, St. Clair should be able to have this round. No able way. to see the angle. The player found out through the holes. The flashbang going out, the swing almost happening, but the double swing from St. Clair should go down. Even if Kinger didn't get the pick, Swift did was right there to trade him out. Not required though, he rips the head off of the Nomad. St. Clair wow. score around in what I thought was going to be <laughs> not very sided towards them, given no, how the first 30 seconds played out. They're looking pretty down and out, down to men, and now I just don't know how the rest of this is gonna shake up. You wins are very dominant on that defense, but now looks like they just cannot get a foothold here on the attack. That first round was their best Attackers round. They still ended up losing that one. So they have to find something that works out here or else St. Clair it's gonna take this one. Right, I mean, I, I, you gotta give credit to Jocks, right? I mean, he made the hero play there, somehow lurked back up to that top floor when we all thought it was you Windsors for the taking, finds the pick that essentially saves the vert control. And with that, it allows Swifted and Kinger to play so much more confident within the site. They know where the last two are probably gonna be based off of calls and obviously they were able to find the picks fairly quickly. So Jock's really just turning that round around uh, for St. Clair, that was in insane. my opinion. <laughs> I, I don't yeah, know how he swung it around. Yeah. Jock's and Swifted, they just in complete synchronicity turned that round. They're, well, the thing is, like on they're, head. they're gap takers, and that's <laughs> that's a, that's a term that people use in sieges. They just they know how to basically find the gap. They see the gap in the setup or in the attack and they don't hesitate. They're able to take it so effectively. And being a good gap taker, especially on uh, more of an aggressive role, is something that really makes a great Siege player. And I can't let this slip away. That is the Habana that has oh, been downed no. now on a basement defense. The Queen of Hatch is going down. I believe they know about Kinger's position. Yeah, they do in Garage. He'll have to kind of take a step back. But having that Habana on 20 health now is not very good. At least they'll be able to get her back up. So she will be able to use her utility, barring another Saint just picks her off. But again, that was almost very scary for you of Windsor there, because you have four hatches you need to potentially take. You potentially take the two hatches in open area, one in elevator, and then one in vault. Depending on where you want your setup to come from, if you're going from server especially, you need the open hatches, right? You saw last time. They have the pings on the feet of Kinger as well. So they do know about his position, they just have to try to flush him out. But if Kinger's smart, he'll take the first engagement that he sees and he'll start to vacate back and peel back. He can let his Goyo canisters do the time burn for him and he can just play his life. But we'll see how it goes down. With one minute, 30 seconds Ooh. left, this attack is going to start to ramp up very wow, quickly. Rapid. rapid on the lurk. No one able to take him out top square, and that's going to be a disastrous loss on the side of you, Windsor Gridlock. Such a big operator for post plant. And now they won't have her. And that's not a cap can trap going off, taking out uniquely. Absolutely. I think so. Chaotic. You have to drone oh, that out. Kill. Kev's going to be able to, or Swift is going to be able to clean up the kill as well. How does that happen? You you can't give that up. That has to be droned out. 
mistakes on both sides so far from droning this game. But right now, St. Clair's taking it and laughing it all the way to the bank as they're going to be able to take the advantage so far. Goyo Candice is being popped. But does the Nomad have anything? Does she, I believe the flashbangs in pocket to get rid of the Aruni gadget. Clear. Still Attackers really, run. really ropey look here from you, Windsor. Solid they need good. to make a play and they need to make it quick. Attackers have recovered their it might have to be an undroned hatch drop and just I hope for a hero play to go Ooh. down. But it's not going to happen! Jox rips one, rips two, and he's going to be able to find all the, t the space he needs. It should be rapid, has the pre-fire, has the angle, Whoa. but no, a great swing from the Capitao. With 20 seconds left though, again, almost impossible. Can't go down the main stairs. The Goyo has been popped. I believe the fire did go out. Does he know about the Saints swinging oh, in from open no, area? Doesn't. No, he doesn't. Jocks with a 3K, I believe, on the round, making another hero play, flanking up those janitor stairs and finding the two on top of the server hatch. Yeah, that is absolutely rough there. I cannot believe that these plays are coming out and you want to just letting it happen. They cannot play around it. Well, again, it's kind of on both sides. I mean, like St. Clair, for example, they, uh, they, they've they been victim of that as well. They let the dock on mm -hmm. the earlier round take uh, the advantage, right? And they let uh, Julian as well on the side of that Jaeger come down janitor stairs as well. Both teams right now, it seems, are lacking a little bit in the comms. They're letting hero plays and lurks kind of get the better of them. Which doesn't necessarily mean better drone work, but it means you have to set up your drones in areas that can hold those, those down. First person who dies should instantly hop on those drones, and they should be able to call out when stuff like that happens. So again, so, yeah. it's kind of a question that goes begging to ask from both teams. Are we going to just let hero plays win us rounds? Again, if you're the, on the winning side of that as St. Clara right now, you're going to say, oh, hell yeah, I am, because yep. we're going to win the game right now. But if you're on the losing side of it right now, you, Windsor, you need to make sure you stop plays like that from happening. And I'd be seeing the exact same thing if the sides were flipped right now and you, Windsor, was up six and Saints were down four. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you right there. But I don't know. I feel like you, Windsor, has some tricks up their sleeve. They just have to get back that mojo they had on the defense. Play it a little bit in between. I think they've been playing a little bit too careful now. They're too aggressive. Walked back too careful. Gonna find some happy in between here. Well, I was gonna say, I think that was the thing is that they were able to, in the first half, just take the Saints completely exactly. off guard. But again, I'm not surprised. Uh, Bank, obviously, on the Saints pick, they wanted to be on the defense, obviously, because of the fact that it's their stronger side. That's why they were chose to be on attack is because you Windsor knew the defense was their stronger side as well. So on the side of the Saints, they're able to have the first four rounds on defense. They need to hope that they can take the last two. They should technically be able to. And I really love this from you Windsor, utilizing the IQ, finding all the electronics, being able to call out not only who they have, but where Sinclair has that util set up. Play indeed. It's definitely one of the slower rounds. He wins are being very methodical to try and clear this out. They need to play carefully. They cannot lose any members of the half of the past few rounds. Through that wall, just trying to get as many bullet holes as they can here. Find something, anything, any info, but that's gonna be Minsk finding Kinger off guard. <clears throat> right, and it's, I mean, it's a great first pick from Minsk as well. On the IQ, you know, usually a very big, uh, you know, IGL role, right? So, again, wow. I was going to say, someone who you want to keep alive for the latter stage of the round. But that's not going to happen because Swift is simply better. It's just better, but Terra might be even better than him as he gets a double kill from out of thin air, it looks like. But now Swift is getting another double as well. Things are looking dire for the Saints. Down to one Jackal. Can he turn this around? Can yeah. he uniquely truck? No. Uh, yeah, he can't. No. The heavy hitters from St. Clair are just simply going too hard right now. Swifted showing why he is the big man on the roster. The number one guy who we like to think is, you know, he, he honestly, he takes a game and if he wants to, he can just turn it on its head and make it his own. That's what he did that round with the help of Al uh, Terror as well, taking control again on that lurk on stock. It's the same thing, right? I mean, it's just not droned out and another lurk goes through on the defensive side. Both teams on the attack have been very guilty of letting that happen, 
But again, it, it just was worst job done on, on that front by you Windsor than St. Clair. And that's going to simply be exactly. the thing that wins St. Clair the, the game. You Windsor just let too many lurks go, ma uh, make their attacks go out of control. Yeah, they just... They had a really good run on that def defensive half. They really turned it around there, but they just couldn't get anything on the attack. It just seemed like once St. Clair was on the defense, able to set up their own traps, their own position, it was just it was just hard to get through. Right. I, I mean, I can't. <laughs> like, there's not much more. There's to not say. really much you can say. <laughs> I think that would have been an even. I guess. What am I trying to say? I guess what I'm trying to say is St. Clair on the side of attack, they were probably uh, they were just getting warmed up. They were making a couple of mistakes where again, minute mistakes, like for example on that Tatranka Shield and server, that game wouldn't necessarily have been as close as it was if a couple of few things went another way, which again I think could have been done through better comms in general. But I don't know. I'm not on the. I'm not the players. I'm not on the land right now. I'm not in the server for a reason. It's because I'm not as good. Right? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and, uh, at the end of the that's day, true. Me too. you know, even though I will rip into players for doing this stuff, they are very good players in their own right. They're amazing. But you have to point out simply what you see, and what I saw there from both sides was simply just two attacks that didn't really look all that threatening to me. Yeah, I think you're right. Two attacks didn't quite work out. But now, you know what? Who's starting defense next game if we're going to be defensive bound? It's Chalet. I think it's going to be Saints starting defense? Um, Let's see. I wouldn't think so. I, I think it's going to be the Saints starting on attack because Chalet, you Windsor will want the defensive side. And then because the overtime map due to seeding is the Saints pick, it'll go to Saints border. And defense. the Saints will be on defense on border. Saints so, get defense next on round. On Chalet. On Chalet. Okay, wow. Okay, I didn't expect that. Okay, so if the Saints actually do get defense on Chalet, one goes begging why. Maybe, may, I mean, obviously, it's because you Windsor seems very confident probably on the Chalet attack. Mm -hmm. But again, you never know, right? It'll be all the same things, all the same storylines to watch. There needs to be somebody who's going to be able on that attack to take gaps. No one's really taking gaps on the attack. They can't find any because before they do, players are lurking on the defensive side. They're going unchecked and they're finding <laughs> multi-kills in order to swing the round on the defensive side. It's happening on both sides right now. It's the story of the series. And speaking of swings and gaps, we're going to swing right over to a gap in our little show here. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with the next game.
Welcome back, everybody. We are just about to get into the second game. An explosive, I don't want to say start, but first half from you, Windsor. But did not quite play out very well in this second half. St. Clair just found something within themselves. A defensive demon, if you will. Locked down and locked in and took the game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's not really much to say. They just... They got on their comfortable side, and they just rolled from there. Yep. And it was kind of the tale of the same tape. It was just the fact that you Windsor couldn't get that fifth round like St. Clair was not. able to. I, like, again, a closer – I know 7-4, to four, right? But a close game, if you were with it with us, it won't look close on paper. It'll definitely seem close if you're in the stream right now and you saw what we just saw. I did. <laughs> there were so many hero plays. Uh, players left unchecked from drones, lurks going down. I mean, I'll be honest. I don't want to roast people too bad here, but sometimes it kind of, you know, I was kind of sitting there. I'm like, so no one hears the player coming down janitor stairs. That happened, like, on both sides. That literally, that is how many hero plays do we have from, like, janitor stairs? I'll say, like, three. I th th like, there I were three major ones. Maybe four. Julian had that one. A kill. Julian had one. I know that, oh, I can't remember. Jocks had one. Yep. And then there was, like, another one or two that I just... Can't even remember, but it's too many. It's too many. <laughs> it's too many. Guys, we gotta get we gotta we gotta get a little more solid on the droning here. So again, that's gonna be something that we look to do now on Chalet. A map that I brought uh, brought the point that the Saints <laughs> swept it. Please don't ban Deimos. <laughs> they might going not. To, they're, they they're, might not. If they don't ban so? Deimos. They want to, you know, unless they're saying this in St. Clair, they're just throwing them off. They're gonna ban Deimos. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. No, they're not. Let's see. They better not. Let's see it. Yeah, there Yank. we go. That, okay. Called out the Ying on bank. Not surprised that it's the band to go on Chalet as well. Ying, just such a strong operator. Four Candelas smokes. An 80 round an eighty round magazine on an LMG that has virtually no recoil. They banned the Montana on U of Windsor. I like this. You like this? Because even though Rapid... I'm sorry, Rapid, to call you out. I know you went 3-8. and eight. But you were playing on the Monty... Gaining useful information and enabling kills for St. Clair. You Windsor didn't like that. They ban it out. And they ban out the Azami. Again, on Chalet, there's so many good plays you can do with Azami. Uh, especially, you can put them on piano up top. You can put them on uh, blue stairs or like the basement um, on 90. Uh, again, you can just do so many things, cheeky things with Azami that you just, Ooh. you Windsor doesn't want to take the chance of. And it's interesting to note. <laughs> The Deimos is up. <laughs> uh, again, that uh, the Fenrir getting banned out here. That is interesting. Fenrir, again, a great operator, dangerous on Chalet, but his um, F knock gadgets are no longer bulletproof. You can just shoot them. Oh. Um, they used to be bulletproof when they were closed, but not bulletproof when they opened. But now he's off the board. So there's not really much to talk about as we're not going to be seeing him for the entire game. Exactly. Let's turn on to the actual setup right now. It is going to be a basement defense first for St. Clair. Let's see what they do. I'm actually very surprised knowing that Kinger is such a force on the Mira that we're actually not seeing a Mira setup come out of St. Clair for this basement defense. Going to be interesting. They do have the rotate from site to site. And now... It seems like it is going to be Swifted, who's probably going to look to hold that top floor. He likes playing from the top, you know, he likes the high ground yeah, advantage, maybe a Star Wars fan, but nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it's big that he takes Five control of Mezzanine, go. because having having Mez control allows you to overlook the main floor, but oh no. Is this Saint caught out? Did he not see Ooh. the drone? I believe that's Terror on the Tachanka. And this should be a fairly quick kill of left unchecked. No, he hears the first shot and he does the smart thing to do. Gets out of dodge, able to get rid of the drone as well. So risky from St. Clair. That was almost a team kill. That was <laughs> like, crazy. That, that was very close to being very disastrous early for you, Windsor. Maybe some slight nerves heading into this one as the last match did not go in their favor. They're going to have to do a lot better on the attacking side. It's where they lacked on bank, but... Again, EK said they were feeling very comfortable on Chalet. It's a great map, especially when going up against NA combatants to have in your repertoire, like I said earlier. We'll see how U Windsor does it as they go immediately for the trophy kitchen take. Probably going to be looking to go down West Main and taking that boiler breach. Taking the breach. 
now. They seem to find a way down here. Maybe some room through this ceiling. Try and get some info with this drone. Don't know if they're gonna have a great job though. Got to get through here. I don't know about this one, man. <laughs> I mean, I actually like this take. They've also pinged out the Valk cam, so they do know to get rid of that. They have the Thatcher, they have the Thermite, so this should actually be a pretty clean take. It's going to be on the roamers who are on the side of Sinclair to make the difference. However, with the Nomad and the grid lock down to try to stop that, it seems like they've kind of learned from their lesson. King are going to be the first one to go down from, I believe, the hatch. It was, I think, the Flores, or, oh, sorry, the Thatcher. Sorry, no Flores number. I just saw the AR-33 and immediately assumed the Thatcher to get the first pick. My bad, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and now I want to see... Does he have to get anything off this Nitro? No, not quite, but at least he's not dying with it in his pocket. Maybe could have saved it a little bit longer, but I'm assuming the Tachanka... No, the Capital Ooh, frame's angle. going down. That will be the take from you, Windsor. Now, Sinclair, they have to run through. The bomb going oh down. My God, the smoke. It's so, so hectic. The plant will be denied, though, and now the Diffuser's going to be left cold in sight. Cold, but someone's got to pick it up. Keep that baby warm. Has to find some angle in here. Send one more. Terra getting another, making this 3v3. But it's not really with one player down. Great job from the Tachanka as well. Amazing job delaying this up. A Swifty getting another. Looking for one more here. It's all they need to really seal the deal. Gonna be uniquely gonna have to play the 3v1. Yeah, I mean, barring an absolute disaster, this one should be sealed. The Tachanka's gonna put more pressure on this Windsor player. Again, the St. Clair player can use the slits in the deployable shield to see where this U Windsor player is. It's only a matter of time before the angles get crossed. That's exactly what it's going to be. Jocks knows he can just prone here. He plays the cross onto the shield. And yeah, I mean, you can call it a right angle if you that want, is. but uniquely, you're the one who died to it, so I don't know. You're the I mean, I, I get it, I get it, okay? I get it. It's a little bit of a, like, a, oh, come on, man, seriously. But when you have the intel like that, I mean, this isn't ranked we're playing, guys. This is Collegiate Pro League. This is CCL. Everything's going to be taken to the most serious degree possible. And if there's a chance to knock the highest percentage to grab a kill, best believe these players are most likely going to want to take that. So there you go. It's probably just a little more of a joke, I'll be honest. Exactly. I think deepen it a little too much. But St. Clair, Clair, up 1-0 to start. It was a very dominant first round on the basement defense. Very, very dominant so far. But I feel like you, Windsor, did better than they thought they would. I think they weren't very confident going into that round, yep. but they found their flow halfway through. But the Saints still have that momentum, that confidence from the last game. That's going to do them very well going into this one. Ten seconds left. The story of this one, especially going into the top floor site, is how the mezzanine control can be held. You don't want to give up library. It's going to be the player on the defense playing behind that reinforcement on mezzanine. Uh, yeah, there we go, right? So you're going to have the Tachanka. You're going to have the Wamai. And Swifted, if if that spawn peak worked, if anybody was actually there and he found that kill, I <laughs> that that would have been just simply amazing, especially with a gun like the MPX with no zoom sight whatsoever. That would have been absolutely insane. This is a good drone angle. Got one already. I Make love something of it. I was say I love what the Aruni did here, but he's been droned out and doesn't even know it. So it should be oh, rapid wow. to die here, but he's actually going to somehow escape on six health. I mean, again, That's not amazing. ideal that you're on six health, but uh, I guess they cleared the angle. But the fact that Rapid's still alive, very dangerous. This is really going to come back to bite the players on you, Windsor. What is that angle above the Osa shield? A bomb has been located. I honestly thought that was going to work out too. The Osa on 75. Again, remember, they cannot fire through that Osa shield. It is bulletproof glass, so they'll just have to have a little bit of a standoff for now. The defense doing a great job of just punching it just so the Osa doesn't know where that player on the defense is going to go now to set up. We're kind of at a stalemate right now. Wow. A great job of finding the wall bang, the floor bang onto the player in, uh, I believe it was bathroom. Yeah, that is going to be Rapid who goes down. Do they know about the player on top blue? Yes, they do. With that shotgun in hand, it's going to be all on Kinger on Solarium to see if he can try to find the picks on Solar. Such a Ooh. difficult angle to hold, but Swifted 
able to take the pixels off of the top of the U Windsor player uniquely with a refrag of his own onto Swifted. The nade trying to force Kinger out of Solarium. He should just go down to bathroom, but no! A team kill! A team kill, and a really bad one to have in this area. It is going to be, I think, what was it? Thanks. Kinger going down? Okay, for some reason that didn't wow. pop up in the kill feed, but Kinger is dead now on top solar. And now the Selma charges will go to try to see if U Windsor can make this solar take work. They are going to have to probably extend someone in the bathroom. The Sens being thrown down to cover the planter, hopefully. The Diffuser going down. Is St. Clair aware of this right now? Do they hear the sound? Probably not. The Sens gadget probably did good. Oh, the they did barely. But Terror finding one, finding two. Absolutely amazing reaction time. He just, he doesn't care. It didn't matter. He was putting everything in God's hand right there to think the hope that he was going to end up alive. He makes another hero play on, an, on honestly an engagement that you would have thought the Sens was probably going to be holding. Would have thought, but not quite. That was an absolutely insane round. Once he shouldn't again. have gotten away with that. No, he shouldn't. Like, I want to point that out right now. That is again another play where a Saint has been able to just turn around or around <laughs> and they shouldn't have been able to. That should be held all the time by the Suns there. You have to hold your planter. I, I wish I could see it from his, uh, from the Suns' uh, perspective, maybe watching yeah, bathroom, maybe the watching the actual closet. But regardless, the right angle was not picked out. St. Clair will take the round. And they are looking very good for a map that, again, these guys do not have a great track record on. They don't have a very good track record at all. 10 seconds left. Very good though, this time around. They're locked in, they're ready to go. Like he said up here on the desk. It's very comfortable, Shelly. He's ready for it. One of their best maps, and they're proving that right here. Maybe it was just the technical issues of the last time they played on it. They still won that one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, uh, it, it is just, you know, weird to see I, I guess the fact that you Windsor isn't looking a lot more comfortable in these takes so far they just haven't gone to their liking this is more what I wanted to see out of Kinger as well I wanted to see this mirror set up on top Mez Swifted is just going to sit in this corner of library it's a common spot to just sit because you can just watch the double window jump through and you can have the other player on the mirror just holding the cross on it so it's going to be interesting to see what St. Clair does here, how U Windsor tries to get rid of those mirrors potentially. But right now looking at the util, I don't think there actually is a way that they can quickly, other than the ace Selma, that they can like at least punch the mirror and make that glass crack. They're gonna have to try to Selma it, but that's not gonna work out very well because Swifted's just holding it from the corner of library. He can just shoot those Selmas if they try to breach that, uh, that mirror. Seems like right now, though, the solar take to try to clear out this mezzanine hold from St. Clair is going to come out from U Windsor. They have the Jackal trying to track anybody, but he's not going to find anyone. The first engagement will most likely come from Rapid, who's sitting on the top of library uh, stairs with that deployable shield, a common shield place. And I guess I, if I was going to guess, they're probably going to use these nades to try to clear... Oh. Swifted out, wow. but that's a that's a really good job there from you Windsor to get the reach frag. Swifted, gets Swifted able to find one, but now he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. He can't move. Oh, but yes, he's gonna he find the double. Does he find the third? No, not quite. Minsk taking him down, but you would think that Swifted's already done more than enough. He's burning a lot of time. There's only a minute left. He's found the picks they need. They only have the sledge and the gridlock. No ace, no ram. And right now, St. Clair can just let the time do their job. They still have, I believe. No, they do not have a C4 online. I thought they had a C4 online for a second. I was hoping they were going to save it. But no, it does come out of Kinger's pocket. But again, they have the mirror still on site. They can just hold this. They don't need to do anything. They can let the time drain down and just play the cross angles. Let the attack come to you. Not to mention, Jox is still on a lurk and hasn't been found out yet. With 30 seconds left, it's going to have to be a one-on-one -on -one gunfight. They're not double swinging here. Jock, Jox, he might be able to find the kill here. And if he does, that's going to be basically round 
round over. But no, he's going to do the smart thing. He vacates and just keeps himself alive. With 20 seconds left, I totally agree with this. They can just hold these stairs. Kinger able to find one onto Julian. The swing Jeez. from Mud is going to be taken out. But Kinger again with a second pick. And St. Clair are going to be able to just rely on time to really just do the job for them. <laughs> They're always ready for it. Kinger was just absolutely dialed in there. Absolutely amazing around from St. Clair. Yeah, I mean, again, that it all falls in the fact that, like, the early picks from Swifted in library, they go down, and, I mean, at that point, you just got to throw kitchen sink at them. They end up doing it, but it costs them two lives, and all the other Saints, they're doing a really good job, again, of just peeling back. Like I said, they, they find their advantage, they burn the time, they burn util, they either find a pick, and they just run back down. And it was a great job from Rapid to even just sit inside of Mud. He's able to then just swing on to the player walking down uh, library stairs. And even though he didn't find the kill, that call it will be made by him. And the health being drained off of the last attacker leaves Kinger for an easy cleanup. So it's a great job from St. Clair so far, a very dominant defense. And I gotta say, U wins are right now. They, they might be a little bit in their own heads. I think there's a I little bit of so. a mental problem going on right now because they just don't look confident at all. I don't think they're in their own heads. I think the Saints are in their heads right yeah. now. And it's just tough to shake That's that. That's true. The question mark from them <laughs> in the first map might be uh, on them a little bit. but The paranoia is setting in. They're like, <laughs> at every corner, every angle, the Saints could be watching me. And they just don't know how to break through if and Swift move with hits, confidence. If Swifted hits this run out, on library because he's assuming that you wins is going to try to take snowmobile breach right okay no so, it seems like he's going to vacate that and go to mezzanine instead but again he can always transition back there if the push comes from elsewhere it seems like though based on where you wins is set up they're going to kind of go for the same thing they want to do the boiler take they want to take up top no never mind i completely missed that oh, on the on, on i didn't see the players outlines Based on where they're lined up, they're doing a split take, and they will take Snowmobile. So again, that run out from Swifted might have actually worked, and I wonder if he's actually going for it right now. I believe I saw the outline. Yes, he did, but it got Claymore off. A great play from U Windsor just to make sure that they have their Claymores down on any potential run outs. Swifted pays the price, and he is down for the count. So now he'll have to just stay on Velt cams for the rest of the round, giving out, hopefully, great college to the Saints. But if you are on the side of U Windsor, you need to wonder how you're going to do this attack, uh, attack now. Your snowmobile push is basically done i'd have to imagine no not quite i guess they're just really they really like the split they take do. i don't know if i agree with it okay i was gonna say the players better start rotating because you only have a minute 30 left it just doesn't seem like anything big is going to come from the snowmobile take they just have the thermite here on his lonesome Ooh, good kill. kinger able to cut down the capital and that's a huge pick because that's their number one guy who was going to spark the engagement spark the the execution but now the saints can just wait and they know there's a common angle where everyone has to run through. Canadian, one on to Kinger, and hold on. They freed up space now in snowmobiles. They can try to take this, but no. Jocks with a great play. He finds one. However, it is going to be EK with another under Rapid. They know they have to go through the breach. It's going to be watched from, I thought was blue, but that's not going to happen. Now the Thatcher can get a plant down and wine, but he's getting shot now in the back. And now the player EK down. The swing. It's going to be Jocks on a triple kill. And now in a 1v1 scenario. 40 seconds left. They can try to play time if i'm jocks i have the fuser i'm probably gonna hold a long angle here and not peek i'm gonna let the player come to me 30 seconds left you would think he has the advantage but jocks on 22 health has to play very passive here the gridlock trying to throw anything down the smokes to try to conceal the entry into wine this is crazy. Jackson Doesn't have the diffuser just right. left. Wow, and he does get some mega flank there. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, Jox did a really good job of repositioning there off of that smoke. But honestly, I thought the player from U Windsor was just going to go through the smoke and take the diffuser. Tries to actually fake the smoke push and swings the other way. Just gets unlucky because Jox was one step ahead. Rotates through split, rotates through blue, and is able to hold that just in case. And his intuition yes. paid out. And it <laughs> very much did, winning them the round. And now if you're you, Windsor, you got to be thinking to yourself, come on, guys, we've got to get at least one round on the board, get a foothold in here, and just play a perfect defense, and we can take this one to a game three. But, but 
It's just every round that passes just gets harder and harder to convince yourselves of that. But let's see what they can do. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's just so tough. It's got to be so tough right now for you, Windsor. You do not want to go 6 0 down. I mean, this almost has to be perfect attacks from you, Windsor to clean up the half if they want any chance of even bringing it to OT uh, or winning in regulation. Five seconds to get Again, St. Clair, they're just doing such a good job of making slight plays happen that shouldn't be happening. That player inside of Jock should never be able to swing that breach like that on Snowmobile and pick off the Thermite. That's just... I don't want to say careless, but it's 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 just ridiculous and it shouldn't be happening. The play earlier where Terror was on, I believe, the Tachanka or the Capcan, uh, I believe it was the Tachanka, swinging through the Sens in order to find the two players in the round earlier. Again, it's the same thing. They're allowing hero plays on the side of St. Clair to be the downfall. So, you Windsor, they got to tighten up the bootstraps, get some drone work going, find ways to counter the util that's being thrown out by St. Clair. And I'm going to go ahead and say it. I really think they need to also work on getting rid of these Valk cams. I, I think that's kind of been the slight undoing of them. The reason why the Saints look so prepared for their takes every single time, because I wouldn't be surprised if at least two of those Valk cams were staying up. I wouldn't be surprised either. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what they have up their sleeves in their heads, but to swap that one out. Unless, wow, cheeky jump there on the drone. We gotta relocate, wait for it. A little bit of a bait. Will he peek it? No. He'll wait for it to come to him. Well, it's just all about confirming that that player on, on the side of, I believe it's probably Rapid on the Aruni. Yes, it is. Playing in Mezzanine. They just want to know how, like, they're going to go about this library take. They got to watch the cross angle, though, being held by, I believe, his terror on that Wamai. Although, we'll see how he fades back. Again, it's great from St. Clair. They're just time burning right now. They haven't, you know, they're almost equal in terms of health. Yes, Jocks was down, but again, because they have the dock, they can just skim him back up, and that's exactly what they've just done. The Brava, it would be absolutely amazing if this Brava could just find a Valk Cam for the taking. Maybe a Surya Gate. It's going to be exactly what the Brava gets done. So, I mean, good, again, good job trying to counteract the Util. It seems like they've been listening to what I've said. <laughs> Util's kind of been the downfall of maybe some of the back, uh, coming off the back of some of these hero plays for St. Clair. But again, with three Valkams, I, I believe up still, St. Clair should be the ones taking control. They are going to hit the first pick against them, but then the next two come in so fast. It's almost instant trades. It's something St. Clair has always been so good at is not leaving their picks untraded. And now it's going wow. to be Kinger and Rapid just absolutely putting on a show. The swing comes through the door that's not being watched. Can't be watched because there's a bigger problem, which is going to be the breach. Swift that he takes advantage of it, and he absolutely cuts down the last player of U Windsor. Uh, again, it just seems like U Windsor just don't feel confident in their takes. They keep on trying to do the same thing, and they can never make it happen. They're trying to clear the player off of Mezzanine, but it hasn't worked twice since you know, before this, exactly. they tried again. I, I mean, if it didn't work two times, it's probably not going to work the third. Probably not. And it, it just didn't. So again, it seems like they just don't know really how to attack this Saint setup. And it's a little bit weird because just having an Aruni sitting on a mezzanine hold with one reinforcement, it's kind of a basic hold. Like if you play Siege, you know that's a very common thing to have. So. The Saints just must be doing such a good job with the intel they're able to provide Rapid because he was able to live for way longer than I would have thought. Now, do you think the Saints will get the clean sweep here? Do you think they're going to absolutely blow this out? Do you think maybe U Windsor has something this time? They've butt their heads against the wall five times over, haven't found success. Do you think this is going to be it? Ten seconds to go. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. If the problem is the fact that they're not able to drive the Saints out of key go. power positions... I'm going to go ahead and actually say it. I was going to say bring the Blitz, and then wow. it happened. You bring the Blitz because you can't get rid of the players on Mezzanine. Again, Kinger last time was able to just sit behind his mirror windows inside of sight. Uh, and again, if you're having trouble taking this library, I'm assuming Swift is probably going to be back up there again. You use someone like the Blitz with Monty being banned to clear that area. Now we're going to see how that works out. Swifted. Swifted with just a better shot. Oh, my God. Repeaks and absolutely takes the head off of EK. He's got to be feeling good after that one in the interview. Exactly. And we'll see. Right now, it's looking all St. Clair, even with you, Windsor, with a blitz online. I don't know if his presence has been known yet, but this blitz needs to make a difference, and he needs to make it now. 
need to make it now. It's now or never. Need to rush in headstrong, try and be the hero, try and be the tank for the team. The well, time is running out. Say, you're going to get an engagement with him right now because it seems like three Saints are kind of huddled up around him. The Blitz on 42 health, and he has been hit by, I believe, a goo mine. Yes, he has, and that's the Blitz off the board. Ooh. So you bring the Blitz to clear a power position that is mezzanine that you've had a problem taking, but the Blitz, for some reason, is in kitchen. You would think yeah. that, again, maybe he's trying to work his way up the mezzanine stairs, but it just isn't what you want to see. A player gets hit by a frost oh. mat as well. It's going to be a flawless. Round. They go for the the library take again, and for I want to say the like fourth or fifth time this game, it just doesn't work. They can't crack through. It just doesn't work, and you gotta try and hold on to some. Yeah, Connor, I know, of I know hope, why Joss is laughing. It's because it, it, he's just seeing the same stuff, and he, he's saying, I, "Like uh, again, if I'm if I'm Jocks here, I'm questioning why the blitz is going in solo. I mean, taking." Spaces taking gaps as blitz is always a big thing You're trying to clear those power positions Attackers But it to took him attack. so long to get into a position to even attempt to clear it out And by the time the Saints already jumped on it. It was already way too late It was a great move by st. Clair having the lesion to counteract the blitz And I gotta say this is probably BM because now rapids running the blitz as well. Oh god <laughs> So we'll see looking to show him how it's done well, I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. It, it's just, uh, it's crazy. If it's you're on the crazy. side of you, Windsor, you need to hope that this Falcon Pulse can work in tandem to try to maybe see if you can find some wall bangs on the splits here. But again, easier said than done. I doubt they're just going to leave the Blitz to go in alone. Yeah, Blitz takes point, but usually you have a player about one to two seconds behind him just so he can get the refrag in case the worst happens or in case the Blitz just wants to sit and give intel. So... We'll see. It's going to be St. Clair with the Dokubi, the Blitz, the IQ, the Ace, and the Finca on this attack. And I really like what I'm seeing here. I know what they're <laughs> going to do. They're going to pop a Dokubi call, and the Finca's going to boost her surge in order to speed, uh, not speed the Blitz up, but oh, in order to wow. give the Blitz more health on this take. Ready? It's probably going to be a 3-2-1 take. The first pick goes in favor of Jocks, and the second that, that health boost happens, I'm assuming... Never mind, the Blitz just walks in. <laughs> He's Blitz just uncontested, through. has the mirror control. Jox has a kill on the run out. This is absolutely pandemonium. The Blitz is able to just take control and almost in piano, oh, finds wow. a pick, I'm pretty sure, knocks someone and he's gonna get cleaned up. And now he has another shield. The Blitz, double <laughs> shielding. Jox with a triple wow. kill, uniquely finding one in a Swifted, but it's too little too late. Plank going down. Blitz going to try to engage on the last person, probably just even give the call out. The shots oh, from the no. wall, it's just all gone wrong. A team kill on the blitz, no but it doesn't matter. St. Clair wipes up, cleans shop, cleans house, and absolutely sweeps U Windsor on their own map. Absolute masterclass for the Saints. They went in uh, very confident, had a little bit of a shaky first game. They really tightened it up in that second game, and we're absolutely locked in. But. At the end of the day, we're all Windsor teams. There's got to be some camaraderie there, along with the rivalry. Uh. But it was very, very <laughs> fun to watch, nonetheless. No, I mean, that was, an ab that was a really, really fun matchup uh, to cast. And I, I will say, I, again, not a result I expected out of St. Clair on that, on that uh, chalet map. Mm -hmm. But that does just say how well-rounded this team really is when they really lock in. And I think you Windsor just simply didn't have the mental after losing so, yeah. that first map. After being up 4-2 and then watching it slowly slip away round after round, it's hard when it you hard. take that loss on the chin and then come back. <laughs> and it keeps happening. And it just keeps happening. Yeah, yeah right? So... Again, I'm not saying I could have told you that was going to happen from, the t from when I saw the first three rounds after that site reset. And then you can try to do it again for the next three. But St. Clair just simply looked... So dominant, so much more confident, and it, it was simply just came down to the fact that you Windsor couldn't clear them out of power positions. Yeah, they just couldn't do it, but that was just such a fun game to watch. Lands are always so much fun. It was Absolutely. great to have both the guys in here. Shout outs to EK, shout outs to Swifted as well, showing us how it's done. He did walk the walk and he talked the talk. He did. It's a great game all around, but I think 
That's all we got for tonight. It's getting late, so we're going to close things out. Thank you to everybody in the back. I believe we have Daniil. We have Adrian. Don't know Ari. Who, Ari, I think. And Dan. Ari here? We want to win Dan. But nonetheless, we have a lot of people in the back to make this thing go around. We got Patrick up oh, here. Thank you very Adrian much. Adrian as well. Sorry. Yeah, we, I, I just wanted I, to I give him his kudos. I just wanted to, oh, did you? I did, okay, I did. okay. I'm sorry. I missed that. My he fault. gets a double mention because he's, he's just There you go. Great. He's just that special. Exactly. Thank you. But nonetheless, we also have to thank our sponsors. It's going to be Subway, Tim Hortons, and Alienware, along with the St. Clair SRC and the St. Clair College yeah. Alumni Association. Once again, thank you, the viewer, for joining us here today and for for watching and join us tomorrow for nace league of legends that's gonna be a big one that's gonna be up against maryville one of the best of the best so you don't want to miss it make sure to follow our social media to stay up to date but nonetheless we'll see you tomorrow good night everybody stay safe